Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to create and manage tables in Snowflake. The tables in Snowflake are created inside a namespace. So what is a namespace? So the combination of DB and schema together is called a namespace. So in order to create a table, first we need a database in Snowflake account followed by we need to create a schema inside the database and the tables that we create will lie under any particular schema in that particular database. So let us first create a database in our Snowflake account. The database DB1 is successfully created. Now I will run command use DB1 in order to set my current session to the db1 database so currently you can see here that the database is selected as snowflake i would like to change that to db1 database so i can see that it is changed to db1 dot public so the public is schema that comes by default whenever we create a database in snowflake so i would like to create a schema under which i will create my tables so let me create schema first so if you run this command create schema schema one it the schema will be created under the database db1 which is set for this session and can be seen here so as soon as the schema one is created the current session is by default set to the schema one so whatever the tables that we create here now will be created under this schema one so let us create a table first in snowflake so the syntax for creating a table in snowflake is similar to creating a table in any of the sql database so let me show you the uh, create table syntax the syntax is create table followed by the table name we need to provide the list of columns along with the data types of those columns when we run this create table customers uh, command the table will be created under db1 under schema1 so let me try running it so you can see that the table customers is successfully created in order to check if the columns and data types are correctly created or not we can run describe table command so we can now see that the list of column names followed by their data types nullable or not and all the other parameters listed from the describe table command so here we can see that the address 1 and address 2 are number so i don't want my addresses to be number i want them to be where care we need to change this data type to be where care and let us see what happens if we run this create table customers again so it shows that object customer already exists so in order to make any changes to the existing table we need to drop the table and create the table again now the table customers is successfully dropped and let me try to create this table now so table customers is successfully created so instead of dropping the table and creating the table again we can run create or replace table the meaning of create or replace is that if the table is not present in snowflake the table will get created if the table is already exist in the particular database and schema the table will get replaced with the new table now let us try to run this create or replace table so it shows that table customers is successfully created it means that the older table got dropped and new table is created so create or replace is the combination of two commands drop table and create table now let us load some data into this table so uh, loading data into snowflake table can be done in many ways so we can write some insert queries or we can load the data from any cloud services like Azure, S3 or uh, Google Cloud. In this particular scenario, I would like to load some data into this customer table from S3. We should be running copy into customers from, we need to provide the entire URI of the S3 and the file format. The file format of the file located in S3 is CSV and the other options are to skip header to ignore the column names and the other one is field terminate i mean field enclosed option which means that the fields are enclosed by quote in the csv file which is present in s3 
so if the command is successfully executed we should see something like this like the file that is copied and the status and number of rows passed and loaded and the errors that we have seen let us check if the data is loaded into this table or not by running a select command so as we can see that the data is now loaded into this customers table let us look at scenarios where the creation of a table is based on an existing table a common pattern in the table life cycle involves deriving a table from an existing table the dataset customers has 100 rows as we have seen let us try to create the other table based on the existing customer table now it shows that table customers deep copy is successfully created as we are using as statement here so when creating the customers deep copy the entire data which, which is resulted out of this particular command will be copied to this customers deep copy table let us check the data inside the customers deep copy table the data is very similar to our customers table and it also has 100 rows as the number of rows uh, present in the customers table now let us create one more table called customers shallow copy with no data in it so the command for creating a shallow copy would be table customer shallow copy is created now let us see what is there inside this customer shallow copy table you can see that the query produced no result it means that the table customer shallow copy is empty here we have seen two types of copy one is deep copy and the other one is shallow copy deep copy means that the table structure and the data has been copied to the newly created table and shallow copy would copy the table structure only without any data the copied table is now an independent copy that can have a life cycle of its own with no changes or side effects originating from any operations performed on the customer table so even if you delete the data from the customer table the data will be present in the other tables that we created now until now we have seen the creation of table with permanent life so the table will exist and store data until explicitly dropped this is the default behavior of a life cycle perspective so there are tables that handle transitory data or data used in temporary etl purposes so they might be required only for temporary purposes for such scenarios there are temporary and transient tables let us create these tables by running create table command so on running this particular command it will show us the table customer temp is successfully created and in order to create a transient table the create table statement would be same we just need to change the keyword to be transient from the previous two sql statements one for creating temporary table and the transient table so two tables were created and these two tables are not permanent but these tables have limitations if we end this current session the temporary table customer temp along with the data will get deleted and will not be recoverable after we relogin and in case of transient tables transient tables are available even after a session session has been ended and will retain data in the subsequent sessions created by user login however so these transient tables will not consume fail safe storage if there is any importance of storing the storing or retaining the data across sessions we can use the transient tables so if the temporary data is not required for any upcoming sessions we can use temporary tables this is about creating and managing tables in snowflake and now let us see one more scenario here we have created a table called customers the customers table is by default created in the schema schema 1 so what if we want to create the customers table in another schema in that particular case in the create or replace table statements we can create uh, we can tell the schema name when there is table name followed by the schema name it will create the table in this particular schema not the schema 1 now let us try to run this in public.customers i will rename it as customers data create or replace table public.customers data and let me try to run this sql script 
so now the table customers data is successfully created and if we navigate to the snowflake ui and open the db1 and public so we can see the tables as customers data if we need to create this particular table in any other database like i would like to create this table in testing table creation let me explicitly mention the database name also so even the session is now set to db1 database and schema one this particular table will get created in the database testing table creation and in schema public with the name customers data let me run this sql so customers data is created let us go and check in testing table creation so this is the testing table creation database and inside the public schema and tables so we have our table customers data created this is how tables are created and managed in snowflake thanks for watching